calm down before you stress up the groove The energy a little different when the blessings accrue Ain't who you talking to, just know I ain't no regular fool Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you Because I stand tall like I'm on my tiptoes Baby, you think a little too small I got big goals, baby, ain't hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info, pronto I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily And I'm the type of Change my number on ya Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on ya Pretty brown skin, baby, I can see the summer on ya You see all the bread and I know it make you wonder Don't you, don't you, don't you Ooh, I ain't surprised at all Seen them rise and fall Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all At the top I found some relief I finally got some peace Carry on, but please don't mess up the moon Yeah, I went too hard for it No, I need it, beat it for you Mess up the mood, yeah. Ooh, I work too hard for it, and I need it, so please don't mess up the mood. Don't, 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 don't mess up the mood. Don't, 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 don't mess up the mood. Yeah, I work too hard for it, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't mess up the mood. Oh, it's so crucial, I gotta keep it. It's in the ass everywhere. No, it's not a secret, and I, oh, I bet they didn't think that I'd ever get it. Everything you've done, I did. The kitchen, yeah. I could make a hit on whatever you pitching. <laughs> Baby, let me fill up whatever you missing. Or you like it up at the top, it's a better view in it. I'm not surprised at all. No way, uh, hey, what you need? Come on, just pay the fee. I supply it all. Went up the mountain and it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top, I found some relief. You see, the car was a 1965 Mustang. Ooh, nice. There you go. Well, this is a joy for me today. Great. <laughs> What's going on guys? We've made it to Omaha, Nebraska. We are about four hours into our 19 hour road trip journey. So we made it here just fine. I just wanted to quickly jump on with you guys and just kind of recap things at the dealership, the experience, uh, as well as my first experience kind of driving the car and, and what I think of it so far. So uh, purchased the car from Mike Molstad Ford in Charles City, Iowa. They were kind enough to send a driver to pick us up from the airport, which it was like a 40 minute, almost an hour long ride in the car. So that was just something that they did. Um, I think trying to find an Uber or a Lyft or anything of the sort would have been extremely difficult. Um, there's really no rental car return places in Charles City, Iowa. I think our uh, driver said that the population on Charles City is like 10,000. And so really kind of them to, to do that. Uh, quick impressions of the dealership, um, they're awesome to work with, uh, I'll share in a later video what I paid for the car and how they treated me there, but I felt they treated me very fairly on the price and gave me a great deal. But guys, um, when they started up the car on the showroom floor, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I about lost my mind how awesome it sounds. I mean, 
guys, I hope you guys can pick this up on camera. This course is so freaking awesome. Better than my Challenger, hands down. It has the active exhaust, tackles the pops. Just driving this car, when they started it up, oh my god. I love it. Uh, it sounds so amazing. I will cover all the features and everything in a later video, but when they first started up that car, I was like, hell. Yes, let's freaking go. Uh, it sounds so freaking amazing. Um, my first initial driving reactions of the car is, uh, I, this might be like me jumping to like conclusions or maybe just like you know, honeymoon phase, whatever you want, but I already like this car better than my Challenger, hands down. Uh, there's nothing against Mopar, nothing against the car that I had, I love it. You know, my car, there was a lot of features that it didn't have, and that was just the budget that I had at the time and what I could afford. But overall impressions, or the thing that has blown me away is two things. It's the exhaust and how well it sounds inside of the car, and two, the rev matching. I wasn't sure if I would like rev matching, uh, but every time you downshift that thing and it revs up when you're driving through the city streets or wherever you're at, it is mind-blowing. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. I'm going to be sharing some more kind of clips here and there, uh, but super stoked about the car, and I just can't wait to continue driving. I didn't sleep hardly at all last night because I just want to get in and drive it. Like, that is, it is just intoxicating to drive. Like, you, that's all I thought about. It was just, when can I get in the car again and just shift the gears and drive it? Um, but guys, I am extremely happy. Really grateful for Mike Molstead Motors. They treated me very fairly. Just no haggle, no BS. Just, just, just really good guys uh, when it comes down to it. So thank you guys, and uh, we'll give you an update here shortly. Housekeeping. Housekeeping, you want towels? Her towels need sleepy. Housekeeping, you want in my pillow? Please go away, let me sleep for the love of God!
Collins, Wyoming, about four hours and 50 minutes away from my house. So we're definitely on the last leg of the stretch. It's been awesome so far. Yesterday we drove for probably 11, 12 hours. So yeah, just another five hours to go and we'll be home. Do you, uh, what do you think of the car so far? The car's really nice. Definitely fastest car I've ever driven. Um, but I never got to try your Challenger, which I really wish I would have. It would have been nice to be able to compare. But uh, yeah, shifts really smooth. Uh, I'm only comparing to the, what was the 1990 Honda Accord I had back in high school. So, and, you, and you drove that. And right? I drove that thing. <laughs> I drove it pretty good. But uh, no, yeah, it's been good. We went through some nasty stuff yesterday. Yeah, how, uh, how bad did it get? So we stopped to take a break, watch a movie, right? And uh, we decided to take a shortcut to get to Rollins, which was a smaller highway, and we did not know it had snow and ice on it. So it got a little scary. And then even once we got back on the freeway, we went through an actual snowstorm where you couldn't see, you know, 10, 20 feet in front of you. It was pretty sketchy. We had three semis next to each other in front of us. Yeah, uh, that was the first time I've ever seen three semis side by side by side going down the same road. I can only imagine they were just trying not to hit each other. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense. No. It was nuts. It was nuts. How many, how many semis did we probably pass yesterday going from Nebraska to Wyoming on I-80? Oh, at least 100, 200 maybe. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. It's like the trucking, the trucking capital. It's definitely their little corridor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yesterday, we literally passed so many semis. A lot of rocks on the road. I went from being worried about, oh, is my car going to get rock chips to... Are we even just gonna make it out of this okay? Um, you know, it was pretty sketchy. Like I wanted to turn around, but there's no place that we really could turn around. Um, so we just kept going and we went really slow. Definitely don't recommend driving a muscle car in winter, but to top that, definitely don't recommend driving a muscle car with summer tires on in the winter time in Wyoming on just roads that aren't plowed and just a crazy snowstorm. So 19 hours later, snowstorm, a thousand trucks. Uh, had a great time with my best friend. Really appreciate Josh for coming. Uh, thank you to my wife for making this happen, but really excited to bring you guys some awesome 2020 Mustang bullet content. Thank you guys for making this possible and we'll catch you on the next video.